Magandang araw ka, bola. So sa video ko na ito, ibibigay ko po ang aking unang power ranking po ngayong 2021. So ang, ang ranking po natin, sinasagot po natin yung tanong na sino ang magcha-champion ngayong 2021 Philippine Cup and we rank the teams according to the likelihood na sila po ang sagot. So sa mga hindi pa po nakasubscribe dyan ka, bola, pakimindi naman po yung subscription button. Let's start po with number 12 and that is of course Blackwater Elite. Of course, yung pinaka-problema po natin dito, wala po si Rang core player or cornerstone player po. Marami naman po silang good players pero without that young promising player po na pwedeng bumuhat po si sa kanila sa championship, of course, mahirap po silang itrust na mananalo po ng kampionato. Ayan, ang masaklap pa nito, wala po silang first round pick dito sa mabala din po ng draft kasi trinate po nila. So, kumbaga na, ang susi na po sa magandang contention po ng team na ito ay nakay coach Nash Rosella na po in how he will maximize a bunch of good and below average players po. Number 11, we have LNX Road Warriors. Wala naman po akong question kay Coach Yeng Giao. I really trust him po na kayang-kaya niya po mag-mold ng isang championship caliber team. Nevertheless, I still believe na medyo marami pa pong kulang dito sa NLEX, a Road Warriors. And at as of today, ipaparating pa po yung dalawang magiging cornerstone po nila in NLEX from the 2021 PBA Draft kasi dalawa po yung pick po nila doon. So, hintayin mo po muna natin na mapili po yung mga draftees po na yun and tignan natin kung paano po ang kanilang laruan together with Kiefer Ravenna and Kevin Alas. Number 10 po natin, Terra Firma Jeep, the team that will hold po the number one pick for the third straight year. Which means, they really have accumulated na po a lot of very good players. Ano? Together with that, paparating po na number one pick, nandyan na po si CJ Perez, back to back, scoring champ. Nandyan po si Roosevelt Adams, na okay naman po yung rookie season. And of course, meron pa silang Isaac po na paparating. And then, meron din mga reliable bench pieces po na nahanap nila all throughout the year. So, promising po ang terafirma, pero still, wala pa po silang napapatunayan. And tignan natin kung magkakaroon po ng improvement po sa kanilang coaching. Kasi, I think, yun yung isa sa mga pinakamalaking kulang po nila ngayon sa kanilang team. At number 9, alas cases. Actually, at this point, medyo mahirap na talaga silang irang. Yung bottom trim is medyo mas madaling piliin kumpara po dito. Pero I choose Alaska as number 9 simply because I also cannot see any distinctive po na cornerstone. Si Big Manuel po sana kaso nga lang medyo injury prone na po siya and medyo yung production niya pababa na rin po. Pero nevertheless, Alaska still have a good accumulation po of good and very good players. Napagaling po din po nila sa draft. Ano, naanap nila si Barkley Bonya. I did not see that coming na ganyan po siya magiging ka-impactful po sa kanyang rookie season. Nevertheless, hanggang sa mahanap po nila yung talagang isang top 15 player po, I still will not trust Alaska po to win the championship. At number 8, we have Meralco Bolts. So for the second conference in a row po, eh sila po itinalo po ng Inebra. And sa pangalawang pagkakataon po, naging malaking issue na naman po yung health po ng isang Raymond Almasain. So, He was not able to play 100% po sa semis or the entire playoffs kaya talagang nagka-problema din ang Meralco Balls. And if that is the case, then it's really high time for them to find siguro another high caliber or starting caliber center po. Just to make sure na may kapartner si Raymond Almas and of course may kapalitan kung sakaling may problema po siya ulit sa health po niya. At number 7 natin, Rain or Shine Elasto Painters. Actually, in a way, same case po sila ng Alaska. They have a good accumulation po of very good and good players. Nevertheless, compared kay Alaska, medyo upgraded na itong Rain or Shine. Kasi karamihan po sa kanila. Eh, experienced players na po sa playoffs. Marunong kung paano po ikamada yung team to win playoffs series. So, I'm talking about Bo Belga, Gabe Norwood, yung mga ganyang players po. Although they're Rooster is still very old na po and may need some young stars na po to freshen it up and para po mas maganda rin po yung kanila magiging uh, future. So punta na po tayo sa ating top 6 web number 6 Northport Batang Pier. So bakit ko po napili ang isang Northport Batang Pier ano, na eliminate po sila sa PBA Bubble over teams that actually perform better than them sa PBA Bubble it's because of the fact that they have Christian Stan Heidinger and babalik na po si Robert Bollick which will mean na yung kanilang point guard position was which was a very big problem po during the bubble. Eh medyo 
hindi na po nila magiging problema. And of course, may paparating din silang number 2 pick kung gagamitin po nila dito sa paparating ng draft. So, in terms of talent, medyo mataas-taas kasi po itong Northport Batang Pier compared mo dun sa Reno Shine and Alaska. Kaya po sila dito sa number 6 pero still, I will not be shocked kung hindi na naman po sila makapasok ka playoffs. Lalong-lalo na kung talagang hindi na po mapipigilan yung mga rumors po related dito sa team po na ito. At number 5, ayan, pahirap po ng pahirap actually to ranking, we have Magnolia Hatchets. Ang point ko lang dito, medyo nahirapan na ako kasi na i-push po ang Magnolia over the number 4 team. Dahil nga po sa edad na po ni Rafi Ribes and Mark Pingris, again, these two players, they have important roles po sa team, lalong lalo na po sa defense. And defense has been the side of the court kung saan nabubuhay po ang Magnolia. Kaya naman napakalaking value para sa akin. Itong Rafi Ribes and Mark Pingris that of course, sooner rather than later, eh, tatiliklop din po yung mga superstars po na yan sa father time. So knowing that, it is high time siguro kay Magnolia to get some new blood sa kanila pong front line. I'm really hoping na this 2021, mas mabigyan pa po ng oportunidad si Aris Junisho. I'm very high on Aris Junisho. And tingnan natin, sa kanino po nila gagamitin yung kanilang top 6 pick dito sa paparating po na draft. At number 4 natin, we have Phoenix Super LPG. Yes po, I am buying the hype. I was really surprised kung gano'n po ay smooth. Kaganda po yung naging sistema po na in-implement po ng Phoenix under coach Topics Robinson wherein they managed to maximize po yung kanilang strengths which is athleticism, horizontal length, energy, hustle, and of course, three-point shooting and protect their weaknesses which is basically size. No? Through that energy, through that fast pace medyo, hindi po naging masyadong problema po yung kanilang size. Although, uh, para sa akin, shaky pa rin yung future nila Kasi of course, Abueba, hindi natin alam Baka hanggang PBA bubble lang po yung kabaitan niya So, kapag na problema na naman kay Calvin Abueba, malabang Sa baba na naman, pupulutin ng Phoenix Pero let us trust Calvin, the beast na ganyan na po talaga siya In the future, that will really make Phoenix a consistent contender po In the next years of basketball to come Number 3 natin, TNT Tropang Giga so, bakit po sila number 3? Hindi po, po sila tinap to even though napaka-impressive po nila sa PBA bubble. Simple lang naman po. Napakarami kasing question this off-season. First things first is of course yung kontrata po ni Ray Parks na mag-e-end po. Na nag-end na po. So, wala po siyang kontrata ngayon. And alam natin last year siya po ay narumor na nag-aas po ng trade. And we saw in the bubble that Parks together with Pogoy, eh sila na po yung top 2 most important players po ng top and take. So, malaking issue kung hindi po nila mare-resign itong si Parks. At isa pa kabola is of course yung frontline po nila. Ano? So, wala pa sila naanap na kapalit po ni Kelly Williams. Kung maalala nyo po, nag-retire po siya before the bubble. Ano? And Kelly Williams plays a big role sa kanilang frontline. So, kailangan mo nilang hanapin po yung magiging kapalit po ni Kelly. And of course, that will not be easy. At number 2 and number 1 of course, it is between Hinebra and San Miguel. O kanino ka? Hinebra o San Miguel? Actually, I will not debate anyone naman kung sino man po yung piliin yung number 1 pero I'll just give my reasoning kung bakit ganito po yung ating, aking kamata sa dalawang team po na ito. Number 2 ko po is Barangay Hinebra San Miguel. So, sa palagay ko, may rason kaya gusto pa rin ni Coach Tim Kwan po na bumalik si Greg Slaughter sa kanyang team. And I think he really saw the importance of having Greg dito sa kanilang uh, playoff run wherein we saw na medyo tumitiklop pa talaga itong sina Prince Caperal and yung problema nila kay Aljon Mariano who is not a capable shooter lumalabas din po and same with medyo na over use po yung rebounding ability ni Scotty Thompson so malaking tulong din talaga kung makakabalik po yung, yung isang Greg Slaughter po sa kanila and one more thing ano, kung ako lang po yung titingin medyo I'm not really sure kung talagang Hinebra pa rin po ang maninalo kung hindi po na-injured ang isang Ray Parks at Jason Castro during that series. Eh, ah, pero ayun naman po, opinion ko lamang. So, pwede pa rin namang Hinebra pa rin po yung ah, nanalo. So, if you combine those two things, that forced me to push muna Hinebra at number 2 instead of our number 1, which is San Miguel uh, Beerman. Sa paningin ko lang kasi, sa pagbabalik po ni John Marbardo, Eh, mas magiging obvious ulit na sila po ang may pinakamalalim po na team dito po sa PBA. Ano, napakaganda rin kasi actually, 
na addition nung Russell Ascoto sa panin ko lang po ano nakita rin po natin yung quality ng ibang mga bench pieces po nila na hindi masyadong nagagamit dati like Von Pesumal Paul Zamar and even Bam Kalamalinda so mga quality players po na I believe kaya kaya i take over po yung mga roles po na mga tumatanda ng Irwin Santos Alex Cabagnot and Marshall Lassiter so to end it all so ikaw baka bawala sino po para sa inyo ang mas tamang number 1 Hinebra po San Miguel comment lang po sa baba